coming straight for us. Oh gosh, it's we're gonna feed it. <laughs> oh. Emu! Oh. Emu! Sizing us up. Let's go! Donnelly River is stunning. It's epic. Um, it's kind of a pity that we're leaving here and this is the beginning of our hike because this place is amazing and we haven't given it the, uh, the respect it deserves really. Check out this. How cool is that? I don't know if you can see that. Um, yeah. Shut down from logging in 1975. Um, it's a series of individually owned um, properties, or uh, chalets I should say, um, that are managed uh, by one business but they're all individually owned uh, so you can rent these out but apart from that there's apart from the owners there's no permanent residence here um, which is really cool and it looks like my vegan burger is ready and we're gonna have that before we go Donnelly River cafe you've got to see this burger I was gonna eat it out here but it's huge This place is just teeming with wildlife. Check out this. There's Lauren. All right, today's 16 Ks. Um, that's all I really got for you. Other than the fact that it's just Beautiful here. Uh, huh? We drove from Bunbury, dropped a car in Pemberton, and then drove to Donnelly River. Saw some amazing views on the way. We're running a little bit behind right now because we stopped for lunch at the Donnelly. Uh, what's it called? Donnelly River Cafe. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> and they had a vegan burger. Got it. And it was good. Near the school, across the oval, is the actual Bibbleman hut. I don't know where that is. Not that we're staying there, but according to my watch, we're on track. There you go, it's only a shelter. Oh, it's literally just in front of us. What an idiot. But more emus. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And those are the huts you can stay at. Wow. More emus. So you can hire these out. Yep. Huh. It's wild that this is was a mining a mining town. It wasn't a mining town. It's a, logging town. It's a milling town. Mm. And yeah, stopped milling in 19. Between 1975 and 1978. <clears throat> and you can hire these huts. Which is really cool. Donnelly River. Start of the Bibbleman track. Next stop. Tom I can't. Road. Huh? Tom Road. Tom Road. Alright. <clears throat> you might notice that I'm Sans Lauren who just thankfully realized that she um, didn't have her <laughs> didn't have her mat that would have been pretty fucking shit um, so it's just me Lauren's always the prepared one too which concerns me um, I've got the course loaded onto my watch so it's telling me that I'm on track so should be okay, but she's the one that generally does all the navigating and map stuff. I just tend to go, yep, this feels right. Uh, so, she's gonna drive back, get her mat. I'm gonna keep going. There is an access point, six Ks from the hut. So, 
uh, yeah she's gonna meet up with us a little bit later and I'm gonna be all by myself I hate me yeah by myself all right also runs the risk of not seeing where the markers are but again I've got the track loaded onto my Garmin Insync Solar well I'll speak to you soon because I don't have anyone else to talk to <laughs> Eucalyptus in Australia, often called widow makers, because uh, once they have some stress on the limbs, they'll just drop them. So, if you are pitching your tent in the middle of the bush, make sure that you're uh, not under a branch that's looking like it's under stress. And now I've got to friggin' go through this. To be fair, there was a uh, once in a hundred year storm just south of here in Denmark and Albany. Which is funnily enough where I just came from, where we climbed Bluff Knoll. Oh. Oh, there's a lot of debris around here. So, unsurprisingly, there was a once in a hundred year storm down in Denmark in Albany. This place is fairly well affected too. Alright, <clears throat> I've just passed the halfway mark. Me, bloop, bloop. I've had a stroke. I just passed the halfway mark. Um, took me about an hour and a half. A little cheeky little pit stop. Um, <clears throat> and this place is stunning. Like, Crazy stunning. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make justice of this, but <clears throat> yeah, it's really cool. And uh, even though I'm a fun guy, it's definitely mushroom season, and I know nothing about mushrooms, edible or otherwise, you cheeky little scamps. Um, but they are everywhere. Seriously, everywhere. You know, you got all sorts of those little ones that stick off the side of the tree like a little shelf. <laughs> Such a bad job explaining. You got little, tiny little grey blue ones, you got big old orange ones, you got big old white ones, like huge white ones. Um, I wouldn't mind to know a little bit more about what fungi you can and can't eat um, and do some foraging I do have a book on uh, bush tucker at home specifically for like Margaret River and Great Southern and I was meant to bring that on my relaxing trip to Albany and Denmark and I forgot uh, so, I'm an idiot, I'm a chump. Along this track, check this out. You see like old signposts like that. It's actually really haunting. 
like really haunting knowing that this was once a, a town there's another one like you just see these signposts and it's really cool but at the same time haunting mushroom season a lot look how big that one is Here's a big one. If you know me personally, you know that I don't really like to stop. Um, I much prefer just to keep going. <clears throat> Unless of course I'm exhausted. I'm not adverse to having a break. I just prefer not to. Pardon me. So that's why having these hip belt pockets for me is uh, really important. So I can just reach in, whip out some snackies, put them away, and just keep going. Because at the end of the day, we're just walking. It's not like I'm lifting weights or anything. Um, on weights, my total pack this time around was 16 point seven kilos which sounds heavy and it is but we're going for five days <clears throat> and we're going for four nights and uh, using the Atmos AG65 which is what I've got it doesn't feel like a lot of weight I've adjusted it and correctly fitted it to myself a number of times so it just sits really tight and close to my back so it doesn't really feel like I'm carrying anywhere across my body because it's got this really great um, like a spring-loaded suspension system across the back um, so I've got most of the weight on the hips and you just don't feel it unless you're going up and down massive hills all day long uh, sure, that'd be different, but at this portion, I know tomorrow's going to be different, but at this portion, it's all good, baby. Uh, anyway, I'm going to keep going. I think I've got about five or six k's to go. Um, I'll probably see it camp. I think the reason why I don't like to stop is because I like making good time. I'm like George Costanza levels of making time. You know, gotta make good time, baby. Make a good time, baby! I just said a whole bunch of birds. Our first bridge coming up. I thought it was actually the hut, to be honest. Didn't get my hopes up or anything. Uh, but you can't see too well in the bush. When you see like a little structure and platform, you think, oh, is that the hut? There's our bridge for today. <clears throat> Here's the Hoskins hikes. Shitty fact. I really like bridges. I don't know why. I have no idea why. I just think they're really neat that humans can build these things that you can get across large things. God, that's such a shit fact. Yeah, well, whatever. Look at that. Onwards. I wonder when they stopped using this. Is this so? Is it like this was a usable bridge till that happened.
Tom Road Heart. All alone. Camps up this way. Go to the river. More campsites. Dunny out the back. <clears throat> now, I'm pretty sure in these next sections of huts. They actually provide you with wood, which is super cool, because it's going to be reasonably cold tonight. All right, I'm going to go suss out the campsites. Ooh. See where I can go. Pretty sweet setup. Just walking down some stairs. That's what I'm being sorry. Bloody ginger. Whoa, this is sick. Hang on. So, directly down in front of the hut. Get a little water and hole. Water and hole. River. Jump in, have a swim. And there's campsites this way. Let's have a look. Sick is this view. That's fucking cool. Look at those rocks. And we got a campsite here. Probably two. Let's see what else we got up here. That appears to me the only two campsites. So uh, I wanted to stay in the hut tonight anyway. I wanted to be close to the fire. There you go. Oh, hang on, we got another one. Sorry, guys, we got another one. Another campsite right here. Could probably squeeze in a couple here. And really in a pinch. It's quite a flat clearing up next to the hut here, so plenty of space if it was too crowded. Alright, I'm gonna get set up.